Shalom, and welcome to Our Daily Mana. Today's verse is Mark, or Marcus, 11, 13 to 14. And seeing at a distance a fig tree having leaves, he went to see whether he would find any fruit on it. And when he came to it, he found none but leaves, for it was not the season for figs. And Yehoshua, responding, said to it, Let no one eat from you ever again. And his taught ones heard it. From barren to fruitful, warning for us, Messiah cursed the fig tree that did not bear fruit. It shriveled up and died. Yohanan or John 15.2 And this is taken from the scriptures version Every branch in me that bears no fruit, he takes away. And every branch that bears fruit, he prunes, so that it bears more fruit. We are all created for a purpose. We are to live our lives in a way that brings esteem to our Creator, the one who knew us even before we were in our mother's womb who fashioned us and brought us into this world, the only one who could truly know the exact number of hairs on our head simply because we mean so much to him. We receive so many blessings, even when we are straying from the right path, but do we show enough gratitude? We are commanded to bear fruit, good fruit, but to do so, we must abide in the vine or Messiah, And as we abide in Him, our loving Father prunes us and makes us even more fruitful. It is very beautiful to know that we are in His loving care. And just as He made Abraham and Sarah, who were barren, the father and mother of a multitude of nations, kings, priests, and the Savior of the world, He can cause great fruit to spring from our lives if we would only let Him prune us. Father Yah, we know that pruning is a process that can be tough and painful, but we submit and surrender to your plans and purpose for our lives. Have your way, Yah. We know that we will face hardships and afflictions in the process, but we can truly trust that you will deliver us from all of them. Amen. Prayer of Surrender Father Yah, as we start a new week, Help us to remember to seek you first and your righteousness. Oftentimes, we start the week anxious to do this and accomplish that. And while it is great to be productive, if all our works are not in alignment with your will for us and your purpose, what is it all worth? At the end of the week, we want to be able to look back and have you say to us, Well done, good and faithful servant. If we live our lives seeking to please you rather than friends or colleagues, we would live a much more fulfilled life, one that is truly praiseworthy. Help us as we strive to surrender all our plans and endeavors to you. Aman Selah Halaliah.